Where do my gloves go? <sighs> gloves, gloves, gloves. Where are my gloves? Fantastic. Empty box. Okie dokie, I am here. Sorry, I had to go get gloves. Are you fixing things? Copy time. For, oh my goodness, Spencer Bentley. How's it going, Fox? Uh, Douglas, Reno, hope things are going alright over there for you. We mean to say hello, check in. Hey, Philip. I'm a bit jerky this morning, am I? Uh, download rate, blah, 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 upload rate a bit bad. I might just. I tried pushing it up to 4000. So maybe that's just taking it a bit too far. I'll push it back down to 3.5. Okay, hopefully. Uh, Yes, well, um, no one would have uh, linked that to you. I didn't even use the full name. I just made a subtle reference, but now you've blown it. Now everybody knows. And that's way too big for the task. It's about the only time I get to say that. Got to get my screwdriver. Alright, has the stream settled down? Stop being a jerk around. Uh, let's see. Bum, bum, bum. Seems okay now, good. Thank you very much for fixing things. G'day, John. Alright, uh, I suppose I better give a rundown of what we've got here. We've got a nice little Samsung U730. Machine's about four years old. It's copped a uh, missing key there. And the keyboard's intermittent. So sometimes some keys work, sometimes others not. So yeah, apparently it's getting worse. Now the first thing that strikes me, and it's probably not going to come up in video, is there's a bit of grunge being sucked into the uh, mesh there. So I don't know if our, uh, you can you can see it as it sort of comes in and out of focus. There you go, nice bit of scum in there. Looks like it's taken a few other minor hits. But for four years, given that it's an ultra book, it's doing pretty good. So I'm going to open this up and see if we've either got some kind of liquid damage, or maybe the keyboard flex is playing up. I'm not sure. Now to replace the keyboard on these, I have to replace the entire top deck. Settle down now. Okay, looks like 3500 is about the limit for this broadband here in that case. New laptop. Never use this account. Must click something wrong while in setup mode. Oh, now you've done it. You've blown it all now. MI5 is going to kick you out. Managed to put a full bottle of Fanta onto my XPSS. Ooh. And I'm guessing, did it not live. So, I'm a little bit late on my stream tonight. I've just finished doing a USB data recovery, which thankfully went all right. If I'd put that on a normal video, so I'll upload that later. Obviously no point trying to do that 
concurrently. I've got a bit of a dent uh, pull out there, so I'm not sure what's up with that. So, what's the story here? Always some new trickery. It's oh, this bloody spudger. I need to just throw this one out. So it did not live. <laughs> uh, no, you can keep your Fanta laptop. Even if it is an XPS 17, <laughs> I'd imagine it, uh, it probably wouldn't even get past biosecurity here in Australia. Gotta go get my other spudges. Uh, <coughs> I either have to end up working at one bench or get two sets of everything because this whole jumping up and down business is starting to get a little annoying. No ants on your desk, yeah, avoid that, yeah. Took me long enough to get rid of the last batch. Any of you who have watched my earlier videos will recall there's quite a few in there that have uh, guest appearances by lots of ants. By the way, the combination LCD touchscreen arrived today and it promptly didn't work. So I wasn't happy about that. I mean, I've sent it back, but that's just more delays, more cost, because you know we've got to pay freight both ways. And I don't really have the. Um, can't really just chuck out money and order a second one, and then have them refund me when I get the first one, uh, when they get that one back. Okay, there's some sort of trickery going on in the back here to detach it. I'm sure it's just a latch. But it's an annoying one nonetheless. Why didn't it work? Well, when I plugged it in, it promptly stopped the machine from booting up. And the PC... Ooh, this looks really pretty inside, from what I can see. I could well have a water damage. Uh, the PCB on the... Uh, down the bottom where you plug in the LVDS connector that uh, flexible bit of circuit board that hangs on the underside and they've often got a folded over plastic uh, bit of tape sort of thing that was offset at about a 10-15 degree angle which is traditionally I've found is a warning sign that there's bad things to come and yeah as soon as I plugged it in it refused to come up anymore. And I thought, what? So I disconnected it, and sure enough, as soon as I disconnected it and tried again, it came up. Yeah. No hidden ones on this one. So I don't know what's going on with it. It's either causing the backlight circuit to drop out, but I'm, again, I'm surprised that could cause the whole machine to stop working. As soon as I took it off, the machine would try boot again. <sighs> okay, geniuses. What's the trick on this one? I mean, I can get... Uh, maybe I'll just keep wiggling my way through here. There we go. Constantly living on the edge of breaking something and releasing something. You guys are going to see this before I do. Well, come on now, it's one last latch. Come on. Don't be shy. Ah, you're going to be shy. There we go. Oh, oh. 
lucky. It's just on the speaker, at least at that point. Sounds like it's drawing more than half amp on the USB. Um, no, except there's nothing on the USB. This is... Oh, I've got corrosion there. Okay, that's not a good sign. Fan is absolutely chocker. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to bring the light around. We all love the light. Okay, here we go. Nice chocker fan. Get a load of that beautiful speaker. Obviously, the, it's, that's nicely there. There's corrosion in here. Because none of that actually relates to the keyboard. Because this is all just USB section. Alright. Now I've got to think where the keyboard comes in. Looks like this is taking a drop or something. Because these cables will come out of there. Wrong. Oh, that's all over the place. That needs a clean. Okay, here we go. This will be keyboard. Oh, come on, Cryjo. I was only going for about. Probably, let's see. Uh, I'm not sure how many minutes I've been going for. Can't be more than 10. Let's see if we can get this. Power connector out. Jeez, how many screws they got for this battery pack? And if this machine ends up being dead, that's unfortunate, but like I said, it has had a good run. You can see the battery holder connector, uh, the screw downs are starting to suffer the same problem that a lot of the MacBook Pros have with this sort of battery pack. They start cracking a bit. I'm thinking I need another camera, one that permanently sits up on here and looks down on me. And I'll call that my YouTube audience camera, because it's always looking down on me. Speaking of which, I had an interesting um, troller comment today. It says, is listening to breathing sound like stuck pig or something like that. I just thought that was rather comical. I felt like replying, reading comments make me think about you're a dick. But of course you don't say things like that. Oops, I said it on live stream. Oh no. Keyboard connector's got a small scratch on it, just in this section here, which is kind of weird. Considering, I do not believe this machine has ever been opened. This is it, the first time ever. It's a virginal machine. That speaker's complete cactus. Oh man. Oh, oh. Come on, don't tell me that. We're going to have to have a look at these. The corrosion's gone right into those USB ports. What are you. Pretty sure. I think that's the flash drive. I mean the yeah, the the hard drive. Sorry, uh, missing out on comments a bit here. Mm -hmm. da, da, da. Fan looks great. Yeah, yeah, it really does. Fun with HPL style hinges. Yeah, revive. That's um, coming after this one. So. I'm going to have to JB weld those things in. The battery doesn't look healthy either. That's just, I can feel it's just starting to get a bit of a puff up. But like I said, I mean, after four years, what do you expect? Uh, da -da. Plate separation, yeah. Might just need to be calibrated. 
fixing things. Oh, right, you're talking Cryjo is talking to you. I was actually watching some Lewis videos because YouTube was indicating no one was about. Alright, Rehot USB ports, bro. Sounds like a superb idea to me. I am going to do some non vacuum brush offs. Oh no, I might brush off all my hints. Actually, no, I, I agree with that um, policy of not washing away your hints. Okay, all this foam is disintegrating. Or is that just dust? Could be both. What have we got under here? This will be memory. This cute little clock bus battery. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby, flick that stuff everywhere. Oh, yeah, go wild. Woohoo! I'll just take that fan out. Of course, none of this is solving the keyboard issue right now. But I am thinking that if this junk is here, what's to say there isn't liquid damage in that keyboard? It looks clean from the top. Ooh. Short screw goes there, long screw goes there. It's just what I want, long screw damage on this. Okay, what the hell? Oh, you filthy little SOB. Even though I've detached the screws for this heatsink and everything, it's not coming up. So I'm not going to push that much further. Auxiliary 2. Right, Filiberto. Filiberto Caraballo. I hope I got your name right there. Well, I wouldn't say Lewis patented it, but um, he certainly, like many things that he talks about, he certainly has made the most noise about it, and therefore it is almost as good as being the originator. Got a, yeah, that's great. Something random coming off there. Alright. I'm going to have to decide what to do here. So I guess I can plug in this keyboard connector again and see what's going on with the keyboard when I boot. Slightly tempted to... Well, these things are just floating around being useless. Um, I don't really want this booting into the person's system. Especially on live stream. They're a good customer. Uh, I've known them for a long time. And they've always, yeah, they've always been good. So the last thing I want to do is anything that would upset them. Right, powers on that side. I get the power brick. What have we got on the chat? More rehot CPU. Yeah, alright. Uh, yeah, they fastened from the underside of net. Well, the thing is, it gave me two screws there for the top side, and then it's like, actually, I changed my mind, bro. I'm going to be merged up with the heatsink too, so and you've got to do the heatsink from the other side. So, yeah. Fixing things for you, my Phil father-in-law came the other day and said, look, it's Russell Crowe. Are you talking about you or are you just, <laughs> or are you talking about me? Lu Louise now says your name at least three times in every video. Oh, Louis, Phil is father-in-law. 
like Bill is brother-in-law and Sil was sister-in-law. Which generally always relates to trouble, in my opinion. The in-laws. Even well-meaning in-laws can manage to create great drama. Now please give me another you bastard. Alright. Sort some things around here. I swear I've got a second one of these things. These are just a little 3M uh, Oh, no, this is a Logitech one. I've got a one that's an animation one. It's exactly the same. Four port USB 2 hub. It's convenient for when you're dealing with these sort of situations where you do not have... or you don't want to try using random USB ports that may not be working. You just want to put it all through one single brick. Okay, that's good. Okay, have you got any bets on what the uh, BIOS key is on this? Okay, we're good there. Sorry folks, we have to hide this away from. Oh nice, she ain't even booting. Right. I'm not even getting a boot. Got power, no boot. <sighs> One USB C. Oh, that's gonna suck. I wonder if that power switch is coming through this USB. I'd be very surprised. It seems more like a MacBook setup where you have that power switch is part of, it's just another key on the keyboard. That was my assumption. Oh, it is part of the USB. That's weird. Okay. Ah, oh, flipping things starting in Windows. Tap and say what some my uh, Someone does not have a password for this, and that someone is me. I'm checking that no one can see this. Okay, let's see if this works. Shift, restart. Pass equals same sum broken keyboard. Ah, I've got what I want now. Which is that troubleshoot advanced options. If I I don't trust it, so I'm still hiding it away. <laughs> I hate doing this, but yeah, you got to do it. Here we go. Uh, it looks pretty nice, and it's boot to a device. All right, we're going to advanced, advanced. I do not have enough options here. Perhaps security. Secure boot. Custom. Oh, Jesus.
And imagine these things don't really care to offer any kind of um, UEFI boot alternatives. Come on. Boot over uh, Windows Boot Manager. Well, that's no good. I don't. I don't want the UEFI one. This is weird. Restore. Yes. I like how it, well, it seems to do strange things here. Fast bias mode, we'll turn that off. At least give me a chance to see what's going on. Ah, secure boot. Come on. Why am I using the touchpad when I should have a... Do I have a mouse? I have a mouse. Thank you everybody for not telling me to do that. I really appreciate it. Spencer says, I have to say, Paul, you look very professional now. Be honest, how much sweat actually remains... Oh, it's disgusting and it's only after 20 minutes. Yeah, truly disgusting. Okay, save, yes, oh thank god it came up what I wanted. Yeah, Craj, that's what I was trying to do, but I couldn't find out where it was on the system, and the labeling of everything was a bit obscure, because it ended up being under the boot little icon there, and my initial presumption was that if I clicked that, it would then proceed to boot, and that was the last thing I wanted to do. So, first time I've encountered that particular BIOS or EFI setup, I don't really care about it. I mean, I don't care for it, rather. Oh, this is cute. This this looks like 1920 by 1080. And what am I trying to do? I am trying to edit things. Vim test dot txt. I don't need that anyway. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. J's dead. J's dead. Men in black, it's all over. J K L M M's dead. God, this is clearly a um, anti M I B thing. N to J M N P Q R S T U V. Y is dead. Oh no, it's half alive. I guess my biggest concern here is, is it, the, or why did the keyboard fail? I suppose that kind of like, why did the chicken cross the road? Wi Fi is on. J, J's good now. Something's very, and M's good now. Alright. So normally, if you have a damaged keyboard, you don't expect the keys to come back to life like that. At least not so easily. You expect maybe they half come back to life and you have to press harder on them. But they've come back good now. And that leaves me with serious concerns. Any theories? 
Is the fan actually moving? That's a good question. I, I can't imagine it would be. I'm not doing it. Oh, it's spinning. Ah, uh, she's giving it a good spin there. It's, it's just so cute. <laughs> Uh, Silent Bob be very unhappy. Yes, he will. No, it doesn't appear to be liquid. Yeah, I. Oh, is that what you're saying, Lorm? Yeah, it doesn't appear as though that's liquid damage behaviour. Got to be one of the data lines from the keyboard. That would be my perception too. Uh, well, I looked at the keyboard connector. It did have those couple of scratches on it. So, I guess we'll revisit that. Unfortunately, since I've knocked out the. Uh, E U F I U E F I. Oh, shut up. Since I've knocked that out, it's not going to boot back into Windows in a hurry. Well, I have reseeded it. I did that at the start. And if it is. Okay, that's good. The other thing that makes me wonder is if it does need reseating or there is an issue with the cable, how did it get to be like that? I mean, we can see this damage here, but that's our keyboard connector there. And to me, that looks like a fairly traditional standard keyboard. Though it will have lines coming in. Um, uh, the power switch is up here for right now. I understand what's going on with that. I might have a look at the circuit board under there anyway. Repeal and replace the keyboard. Yep, that may well be the easiest option with the least rabbit chasing. Oh, for flippity's sake, that's the wrong... You can sit over there. I've got one spare tray left. Short. Short. Not quite as terrifying as dealing with iPhone long screw damage. UEFA is a hot mess. I'd say it's still in beta. I would tend to agree. Yeah, I will clean the connector pins as well. I just want to see what's under here. Not a lot. We've got our button. I would almost say those ports should be scrubbed out. It looks like they're USB 2 only, which is probably a blessing in this case. So the only no, it's interesting. There's a controller chip of some sort there. I'm not sure what it is. Let's have a look. It's a Realtek RTS 5179. I'm trying to see what it even talks to. Okay, it looks like it's acting... It's probably a USB hub chip. That's my guess. Feel free to confirm or deny that for me. But I'm guessing that's what it is. And now the race is on to see who can find that chip the fastest. Where the hell's my alcohol? Oh, there it is. Yeah... I gotta get a microscope Bentley. Bentley? I'm sorry, mate. Spencer. Gotta get myself a microscope. I'm working on it. I figure, yeah, if I do these streams at night, then during the day I can haul myself out on a stripper pole or something like that, and I uh, should be able to make the money quick enough. My wife doesn't mind. She understands. Okay, I2M2.
thank you for coming along. Okay, let's do the Jason Vilma inverted trick. And let's try not burn myself. It's only at 170. Lenny calls minor first degree bands. No third degree. No, it's certainly not going to melt plastic. <laughs> yes, we certainly have called ourselves worse things, though not too often. Usually more in the case of when something went wrong and it was because we got misdirected by another person that we will not name. <laughs> or we do not name. I still remember those days when you were stuck in that crappy little apartment and I remember the clarity of that first camera you got um, I can't even remember what it was I can't even remember why you were playing around with them but I just remember seeing that picture of the first camera and I was like whoa that was really good nowadays of course it's all pretty much they're all much like that rehot USB bro <laughs> Whoring for science, she's very understanding. Yes, that's right. I'm whoring so we can get out of this place. Sick of being a slave to this particular location. Because none of this right now is still helping our keyboard, but I'll get to the keyboard now. If I was an idiot, I could um, use a fiberglass brush, but I'm definitely not going to do that. I'm looking for. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Well, yeah, I mean, I didn't get neuralized. Yeah, it was pretty good fun back then when we were, that's all we had to care about was you know, those coming up with the latest, greatest model aircraft stuff. There's a little bit of scum on this, but it's not bad. And like I said, all the pins in here look perfectly good. Have you seen a worry there's a contact failure on the inside of that keyboard itself? In which case, yeah. If this doesn't work and yeah, it plays up, I'm just going to go straight for the keyboard repeal and replace. And these wire guides are their days are over. Uh, I might just go for the near full assembly. Hey Chris Long. Why do certain companies feel they need to make keyboard only removal the time? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a horrible time in my life. Yeah, I remember you being down to your last sort of 50 quid and then you managed to get something right somewhere. I can't remember exactly what it was. Oh, wait, yeah, I do. Ah, Philly. Which one was the long one? I think it was that one. Yep, it fits. Don't mind the rivets, so just pop them out in place of screws. Yeah, I agree with you, Chris. The um, the MacBooks, for as much as everybody hates them, at least they are able to be done. 
Because these bloody PC ones with the plastic nipples that have been melted down, it's I've tried a couple of times, and I'm yeah using fancy hot air stuff and all that sort of stuff, and in the end it's just a big frickin' waste of time. Just better to go to Alibaba, get one sent over, and call it a day. Read my first comment, you'll enjoy. Uh, na, 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 na. I don't always watch men from Australia late night, but when I do, it's full. Of oh man, is that that mem dude? Oh, I'm holding the wrong mouse. Gotta be careful about that. <laughs> I need to get a little bit greyer and uh, get that pontificating stance a little bit better. Sent Jessa my first iPhone since I came home for iCloud. Oh god. <laughs> I'm hoping you're joking. Da, da, da. Yeah, I just scraped through and that loc Ah, oh, yes, that's right. Yeah, the locator. Locate you. I was kind of upset to see that um, didn't quite quite take you to the stellar heights that you deserve to have gone. And it was through no fault of your own. It's just the nature of business. Alright. <laughs> yeah, good timing with the stripper pole comment versus the Chris Long turning up. Chris, shouldn't you be working? I mean, you've got a whole long weekend of jobs to catch up on now. I was watching Jess's stream last night, this morning, and what's disturbing me is I can't even remember what the hell it was about. Oh, that's right, someone did the backlight thing and completely mangled it. That was a nasty piece of work. Hey, Annex! You actually reuse plastic posts. No, well, you see, that's the thing. You want to try and reuse the plastic posts, but it just does not work out. Wow, this thing's serious. It uh, even comes up a really fancy battery logo there. Someone got paid overtime for this one. Let's go back into here. Still nothing from Jason in New York City. Uh, really? Okay. Uh, someone else was... Oh, it was TCRS was chasing some um, uh, ISLs. But I don't know if he was ordering through Jason. Uh, let's see. Fixing things. RC modeling sucks the cash out of you. Damn right. And you know what's even worse? Opening a shop for RC modeling. And that really sucks the cash out of you. Yeah. And then when you're down really bad, you get a colossal company like... Uh, oh, that yellow is way too much. You get a colossal company like Hobby King come along and just finish you off nicely. Like a saw blade, like a yeah, sword through the back. And you're out. Nothing's playing up yet. It's not to say it won't. I think that's what I hate about this sort of job, uh, this particular type of fault, is you can make it work, or at least it appears to work, and then you hand it back to the customer, and two days later they're like, no, it's not working, it's broken still, and you're like, Beth. Your new keyboard, missing a key. Yes, six was not required. Maybe because it was 666 or something. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> the person did mention that they had extracted it at a moment of... Um, a moment of displeasure, as I understand it. 
So, oh, g'day, Nicholas Jackson. How do you stay motivated at 1 a.m.? Um, when I look at my bank account and it says something like minus 60,000, yeah, that, that's pretty good motivation to stay up at 1 o'clock in the morning. Well, the keys are still running. Six does work. Just feels a bit squishy. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, escape works. Up down works. Left right works. Windows key. Do you do anything in Linux? Other than they should have it if you're in Linux and you press the Windows key, it comes up with something. Uh, da -da. Let's see. Do I know fixing things for you under a different nick? I'm not sure. Fixing things for you is in Western Australia. And, uh, fixing things. Have you ever been on RC groups? Hobby King. We have FastLab now. Oh, really? Let's see. I have a bunch of new work to do. I6 Plus Touch ICs. Are you still getting many of the M1 fixes to be done? Da -da. My account is minus 7,000 to ATO. Uh, ITM2, yeah, yeah, ATO. I still owe them a couple of thousand. Uh, I was really naughty at one point. Funnily enough, when I was doing the model aircraft business, I think I was six years, seven years behind on my income tax. And fortunately, because the model aircraft business was so bad, they ended up giving me money. So I was like, yep, yep, that was a real profit, real profit centre, that one. <laughs> All right. Well, at this point, it would appear this keyboard apparently is working. All the keys that were misbehaving before are back and happy. So who knows, maybe that little clean up on the flex was all it needed. But I am going to have to look at that speaker as well. Uh, fixed re yeah. Depends on the DE. For, wait, the what, what, what? What's the DE? Sorry. That's very well. And the DLC. Yeah. Still seeing untouched 6 plus with the issue. We did have one of our pre M1 jumpers return after seven months. I was impressed it lasts that long. Yeah, I am too, actually. Did that one have the metal shield on the top? So I gotta ask you, are you putting the metal shield on to just try and minimize the chance of a reflex a second break in some other pads, or simply because you can't really stick that uh, mesh adhesive sticker back on anymore? DLG, oh man, I love my dear discus launch gliders, I really do. If I'm getting back into model aircraft, then I'll be making myself another discus launch glider. Sadly, Spencer, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, Mountain Models has changed hands or shut down, and as such, my long reign of models being sold globally is about to come to an end. But now, yeah, well, at least the designs are still for free. Yeah, there's something very pleasant or nice in terms of engineering satisfaction to knowing that you can launch a wooden discus launch glider without it exploding. I was quite happy about that one. I will put that down as a feather in my cap. I'll claim it. <laughs> I'm going to put the screws back in this for now, um, mostly because I don't want to lose them. And I will talk to the person about the situation and say, well, I think it's fixed. I can't guarantee it's fixed, so I'm going to charge you. And if it comes back playing up again, then we'll have to take the next option, which of course is to order a replacement from Alibaba because I can't imagine anywhere else in the world I can get them and then we'll just uh, 
split the well not split the cost but we'll just pay the cost difference I sincerely hope that did fix it though not only because of the money aspect but because I really am in no mood to take that top deck off given that everything is attached to it Chris Long, are you, am I doing CPU encoding only? That is correct, Chris. It's all CPU only, which is why it's so shoddy. Is your main camera the Canon? No, this is the uh, Logitech 922. And this one is just the built-in webcam on the laptop. So nothing fancy. Last time you said is Ubuntu was a 60% CPU. Yeah, I'm at uh, 61, 62. I'm um, using the ultra fast encoding. I tried super fast or whatever it was the next one down, and it promptly made the machine give up the ghost. Or just sort of like it didn't go anywhere. So it seems like ultra fast and 3,500 kbit per second is the limit for this machine and network. Okay, what have we got? Seems to struggle, random little choppy, that has to have a processor. That's an i5-5200. Yeah, I definitely do not have an i7. I'd be happier if I had a i5 um, 6th or 7th generation because at least then I can use the VA API uh, facility that they have for encoding and that drops the encoding demand by about I think it's about 25 to 30 percent so I'm one generation off being useful so I have considered maybe I should just drop to 720p for live streams you know 1080p is a little bit over the top it is interesting though that if I look at the Oh, that's interesting. It's showing encoder overload. It hasn't done that before. Now I'm going to have to go find out why. Settings. It's on ultra fast. Set it 3500. Audio is a little bit over the top. I can probably drop that. No, no. Hmm. What's generally faster if you have? Uh, what would be faster, encoding to 96 kilobit per second for audio, or encoding to 128 kbit? Chris Long, you want a 4th gen i5? No, well I've got a 5th gen, so I don't need 4th gen, but thank you. Started my stream for Core 2 Dwad CPU encoding, did OK on 720p. Uh, I think it's on Chris's end, I've not seen any issues. Uh, OK, g'day, hi hi. Uh, let's see, Core 2 uh, Well, what I was thinking, I might do it looks like it's borderline every now and then complaining about the encoding overload I can't possibly imagine how I can improve on this now I'm ultra fast overclock that i5 no thanks <laughs> I'm on 5th gen i7 dedicated GPU I doubt my computer is having issues but it could be the stream uh, math uses well, well that's what I was thinking Spencer yeah I wasn't sure uh, which is why I think about with the video uh, bitrate like I've got 3500 kbit per second now if I go to 4000 it uh, I was thinking it might make it easier on the encoding I thought you said second gen i5 oh sorry about that yeah. 
72 is actually that smooth now it's losing frames mostly fast movement I get fast oh okay it is complaining it never I've never normally seen that let's see let's try some fast stuff there you go you guys are gonna love that I think what the problem could be is that it's using it pushes over 4000 kbit per second upload at times so maybe if I drop it down to 3200 it will keep it bound a little bit tighter make it binary square hmm. uh, let's have a look let me just try fractionally lower 3200 okay but it's certainly not the CPU I mean the CPU is only sitting at 62 60% 60 so it shouldn't be that traces <laughs> I know what it is. Wife is on Instagram. Ah, that's a good point in here. It's not Instagram, but she might be watching Netflix. That could be it. I forget that there's other people in the house sometimes. Alright, I'm going to take about a two minute break. I need to go get a drink of water. I can't seem to find my water bottle in here. And then I'm going to bring back the HP that has the blown hinges. And we're going to have to uh, JB weld that sucker. I should put the chair in the view, shouldn't I? Do you want me to put a sticker on that says, uh, Hello, Eli. But then Eli doesn't know who I am, so there's not much point in that. Alright, I'm back. Eating half a Mars bar there. Now that power connector's seen better days. Yeah. Chewed out. Okay, so how about are these hinges? Check this out. Right. That one's gone. This one's well and truly gone too. And 
that's the wrong one. A bit of check on chat. Um, next book, it's almost, um, we're almost done with the next one. I'm not sure if it's going to be released under her proper name, as in her normal known name, or whether we're going to go for it being under her uh, pen name. Motor Man, what hinges? Yep. Yeah, oh man, what am I doing? Gloves! Uh, it's pretty disgusting. Sometimes I forget which one's the thumb. Uh, okay, fine. Nice to see you. Welcome back. Welcome back to... I should be working, but instead I'm watching someone stream on YouTube life. Because believe me, when I wake up in the mornings, I barely make it. Well, it's it's a struggle sometimes for me to go to the bathroom first before I go to the computer and start checking to see who's streaming. And if it's really bad, I will grab the headphones, fire up the YouTube and um, then go to the bathroom, walk around the house, sort the kitty cats out, give them their food, or whatever else they want, Don't let outside or something. Mm, pardon me. Have you seen an uptick in work? Chris, no, in my case I don't, mostly because all of this stuff is local, and I don't let the locals know that I'm doing this. I mean, some of them are sort of aware that I've got a YouTube channel, but no. Oh, good on your HP. Separate size screw for your bloody DVD drive. Talented gits. Oh, there we go. Oh, your hacker comes to... Which, which hacker are you getting, Chris? I thought you already had... Like, oh, whoops, sorry. CryJ2000. Both your names start with C. That's enough to confuse people like me. Yeah, it's a bit of a joke in this house between me and my wife, but unfortunately it's true. But I am the sort of guy that will get caught out by Superman wearing glasses and saying he's Clark Kent, and I'll go, oh, where the hell does Superman go? I don't know what it is, but yeah, people can make the smallest changes on their faces and I have no idea who they are. It's kind of embarrassing, because I be get people who drop off stuff in the morning, and then they pick it up later in the afternoon, and they look at me as if they fully know who, you know, I should know who they are, and I'm like, oh, hi, can I help you? And they're like, yeah, I'm here to pick up this, and I'm like, uh, let me go check my system, see what's what, and they're like, jeez, yeah, this guy doesn't remember squat. Jamie, FX9, oh, you're getting a 951 as well. Oh, I'll upgrade to one of those sooner or later. For now, my um, Goot RX711 will do the task. That's right, Chris, I've got a Goot soldering iron. It exists. It's not just wick that they sell. You should let the locals know you fix things. YouTube is not... So, well, I do let them know I fix things. I mean, I advertise daily that uh, I fix stuff. 90% um, of my work is all word of mouth around town. And quite a few people out of town. I thought you were more referring to the fact that it does... Oh, man. Anyone would... It do? Oh, this is going to be really painful. Yeah, man. You know... Oh, it's disgusting. That was disgusting. Uh, hey, Paul, you know that I was married to a mouldy in New Zealand, right? Now divorced. I was... don't recall that. 
I guess maybe at that point I didn't really um, pay that much attention to what you were, uh, you were doing that. I think I was more concerned about what cool device you were going to create next. Oh, for God's sake, Hinge. How goot does your goot work? Well, put it this way, Chris, it, um, I ran my manufacturing business using it for many years, and it does a good job. Especially for two-sided stuff, you know, uh, 0603 type things. Okay. I can get my finger into here. I'm not sure whether it's the right place to put my finger. I'm worried if I push too hard I might punch through something. Crap. Maruili... Mawudidi... Oh, no idea. Word of mouth is the best way. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm pretty happy with how it's going. I, I am running into some issues with... Uh, there's another phone store that opened up. They just do screen repairs. Uh, they cover a lot of different models and brands, some of which I will not touch, such as Samsung's. That's going to kill me. That is bloody well going to kill me. It's going to be like the scene out of... Batman with the Joker with the pen. That's all I see when I have those things poking up there. With a flip of the... There it is. That keyboard just have double-sided tape back behind. Yeah, that's what I thought, but I'm pretty sure they've got some sort of little... I can feel notches along the top. And then, yeah, they do add the double-sided on the back of it. There we go. Yeah, you see, I've got the broad notches here, which means it must hinge up from the top. Paul's the only guy whose voice matches his face. Oh. <laughs> Not sure what you mean by that. Well, I mean, uh, yeah. Come on, up you come. Up you come. Oh, for goodness sake. Okay. There we go. Don't you frickin... <sighs> Serenity now. Do you advertise on Facebook? No, I don't. Uh, flip sake, sorry. I keep losing attention, and as a consequence, I keep losing this pop out. There we go. Now I can get somewhere, as long as I keep my fingers in the hole. For whatever reason, this one's jammed. Bye, Mr. Screw. Gumtree, no. Uh, let's see, I asked my X201 to make a graph of 181,000 spreadsheet rows earlier. It just noped out, <laughs> shut down. <laughs> what was that, Excel or something? Uh, 
Okay, we have a... I got a feeling there's a screw up here. Fuck. I can't see anything. I can smell this is a smoker's laptop. slide back at all. There we go. Okay. <sighs> Guy who's fighting a laptop every time. Yeah, laptop wars. Maybe I should call myself that. Uh, Instead of what I fix daily, more like what causes me to rage daily. But you know, that's just it. That's, as I've said a million times, that's the nature of doing PC laptops, and this is why people like Lewis Rossman and many others will not touch them. Because you will waste a great portion of your life working out how each one works every damn time. What is your favorite food? That's a good question. Uh, yeah, that's a really good question. I, I like too many different kinds of food. That's the trouble. Oh, okay. It's a six and a half mil, that one, so it's a long one. Um, sushi is up there on the top. I eat quite a lot of that. A lot of Asian food I really do enjoy. I used to be big into pasta. But uh, after I left South Africa, it's sort of like, yeah, I couldn't get, couldn't get good stuff anymore. To think. Yeah, a lot of a lot of Asian food like stir fries, sushi, uh, curries. I enjoy those too. Not super hot curry, but just you know something with a bit of bite. I do love Portuguese piri piri chicken though. Oh my god, yeah. Okay, see you later, hi hi. Laptop says, no, don't fix me, I don't want to go back, just let me die. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Berry smoothies, yeah, I'm quite happy to have berry smoothies delivered to me while I'm working late at night. I must thank my wife for that. Now the person who owns this, oh man, those hinges are just gone for a run now already. Uh, they said they paid a, a thousand or so for this laptop originally, and I believe them, they did, or would if it was new. But it's hardly worth that anymore. But we'll see what we've got. What is, what is holding you down? You're terrifying me. Is there a screw I missed? Yeah, pricey sushi. Expensive sushi is well worth it f for the um, what do you call it? The food poisoning you don't get with it. <laughs> I'm very particular about a lot of oh, gross, gross. I think I'm going to puke. Um, something just flew off that keyboard, and I swear it went into my mouth. That is just vile and wrong. Do not tell me you have a hidden latch under here. Pass my regards to the better half. Yes, I certainly will. She does occasionally ask whatever happened to you. And I said, oh, you know, he, lost, he got lost in the Sahara one day. And we never found him since. 
until of course you turn up on Facebook and then all of a sudden it's like I found Spencer it's like ah oh, crap Spencer's back if they say inexpensive sushi you should run agreed <laughs> if something is holding this laptop closed in this section here which is very unusual because <laughs> there's basically nothing there and it, so it feels like there's a screw there because it's not budging and all the while this uh, these hinges are going to town on me yeah you bastard Chris yeah that's gonna drive my anxiety OCD way off the charts thank you very much <laughs> high-speed replay <laughs> uh, what is in there there's nothing in there but yeah as soon as I said there's nothing in there it pops open the power of positive belief I'm a millionaire I better check my bank account I have a sad feeling that's not going to be the case oh god this is just this is hideous yeah at least the circuit board is clean Mm. Hi, I'm a hinge, and I don't have a home. Me too, over here. Yeah, this is dreadful. Oh well, JB World fixes. Oh, for fuck's sake! Look at this. The uh, pull-up tab to take the uh, screen connector off. That just clean broke off. Well, at least it looks clean. Because naturally I can't fully take the screen off because the fecking... Okay, can we get you out? I don't remember to route you properly. What are you hanging on by? Some sort of... Wow, that's some crazy routing. There we go, screen's off. For all the wrong reasons. All right, let's have a look at what I... Uh, parental advisor. This con channel contains foul language. Foul language? Foul language, yeah. Foul language, maybe. Occasionally. Nothing worse than what you see on most family TV. Screws where the DVD was. Yeah, there wasn't that. It was just some... Something here just holding on for dear life. Chris with the troll for the win. <laughs> Speaking of which, troll control, troll control. Ah, oh, Chris, you're already a flipping. Time to order a new back. Well, yeah, yeah, no. Uh, Fact sake. Dun, dun, dun. Classic PC. Do not touch them. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, for as much as we give Apple grief realistically, at least there's stuff, you know, you just take that back panel off and you know, they've got their problems, I agree, but um, in terms of getting into them, at least they're not that much of a drama. Now, they said there were complaints about the power connector too. Now, I'm a bit of a Dilly, and I should have uh, checked that before I ripped it out, but I can see... Oh yeah, 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 okay, that power lead's going to need replacing. I'll take this out and show you why. Take you out. What are you, you clipped in there? You clipped in there. What the... Oh. Way to save a screw, make a complicated clip which will probably break now as I try to extract it oh come on seriously dear HP stop making laptops seriously stop making laptops or if you do want to make laptops Learn how to make them without being dicks. Honestly. <sighs> do 
was to bet that when I apply just enough pressure to get this out, ooh, lucky me, I was going to say just enough pressure to get it out, it's going to snap that stand off. There we go. Ooh, fancy. Capacitor on the other side. There we go, at least it's a short one. Now, if this was the, um, what was that, Metabox 650 that I worked on the other week, this would be dead, but let's see if we can go for, I might have to manually do this one. Uh, fans of Battlestar Galactica, I was until the end of it, and then I pretty much hated it. Alright, there we go. Let's shift the light. Let's put this up here and change the focus. Update. Uh, come on. Here we go. Can you guys see that broken red wire in there? So yeah, that's basically been chewed out. Uh, back to autofocus. Alright. Well, someone's mentioning Amy. Where is Amy? Amy, are you in here? Why can't I see Amy? Nope. Oh, Amy isn't here. Bash away, right. Uh, thank you for... This is Jacqueline... Jacqueline Fagundes. My apologies if I don't get your name right. The software, I'm presuming you're talking about Open Board View. You're welcome. And also thanks to um, Chlorodite for having produced the original version that I then took and ran with. I think the town where Paul Dennis lives is pranking this guy by sending him found laptops at the scrap pile. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised, you know. <laughs> uh, Paul is the most amazing coder I've ever met. Okay, you haven't met many coders, you must have met one. Ah, coding's very personal. Anyone else got lag? Or is it just that brats just finished school? I'd say it's probably the brats. Do all men in Australia have such luscious locks? Ah, oh, Chris. Chris. We'll have to talk about this later in private. Yeah, let's see. No problems there. I'm going to post. I just want to watch a bit of Star Trek. Yeah. I haven't watched TV in ages now. It's either Netflix or YouTube. Well, smallest bunny nibbled at that red wire. It certainly did. I am guessing, at least from its position, crowd, I'm touching. Oh, I'm, I'm screwed. I am guessing what might have happened is with the hinges popping out, it could have caused this cable to just like keep flexing back and forth and rubbing against something. Uh, though I couldn't find anything else. If I look at the this ribbon here, it seems intact. So. Other than that, it was uh, some sort of short, but the, that doesn't really make a lot of sense because there isn't a second cable. And I've just noticed, though, I don't know what that brown wire does, but there's a brown wire here and it's also frayed out. It's, oh well. So anyway, a new one of these. That's fine. I've got to order a new connector for that uh, L650 that we did the other night. And the hinges, obviously, which means I'm going to have to wash this out pretty good. So those hinges have even half a chance of biting in. I'm thinking I may want to remove this main board. What is holding you? Okay, you're just... Okay... It'll give me a good chance to clean out the fan while I'm here. As a rule, I run away from... You can go in there. Here we go. I mean, that's pretty clean. Yeah. Overall, there's... Yeah, so far as main boards go, that's pretty clean. The fan's... Nicely choked up. 
let's have a bit of a party and see what it is like in there. Let's see. Oh great, they've got double sided tape holding that fan down. That's always nice of them. And once I've finished having a look at that, I will set up the hinges. Say that, Cryjar, say that because you were trashing HPs and she would get triggered at tap. <laughs> I'm not going to complain compared to the price of some of you lots into it here. Mm -hmm. Hey Miles, nice to see you. What you doing drifting over to this part of the internet? Paul's usual self-deprecation. You don't code software that's been used by a thousand engineers being crap at it. Oh, ho, ho, oh, come on, Spencer. Come on. Look at Microsoft Windows. No, okay, that's unfair. I know everybody craps on Windows and it is, generally speaking, a piece of junk, but uh, it still is used by a squillion people and it does a reasonable job. Now, what's going on here? What have I got? Why have they done this? Like I said, double sided tape all the way up here and under here. And so now I'm. Um, I wonder if this can unclip. Sometimes you get lucky. And maybe the engineers were asleep when they did this, or the salespeople. And you can get the shell off just by undoing these clips. It's. You bastard. You bastard. There's one screw under here. There's this screw just here. But I think I can actually get to it without causing long screw damage to the circuit board. But I will most likely find out that there's another one hidden somewhere. And it will... yeah, there's one hidden here. Bastards. That's okay. It's enough for me to see that I probably should open that up and clean it out. <sighs> why HP, why? Come on. Come on. You're telling me you will... There we go. Fix it stupid, not the best engineering. Miles says, just got to the store and needed something to watch. Well, there's not enough jobs coming in or something? First day after you guys have had your long weekend, isn't it? Oh man, that's disgusting. It's not even it's not even cat hair, it's more like zombie cat hair. That's weird. And I've knocked off the I've knocked the rubber off. That's not good. You knock those, if you knock the rubber off while you're working on it, then, um, yeah, bad things happen. Let's see if that fan spins, even. Fan spins. Okay. Uh, hack job. Tendons in my left arm are hurting today. What to do? Did you grab something too heavy? Or reef your arm or something? There we go. HP builds them to last two years and not be repaired. Yeah, that'd be about right. Stream's okay now. Just killed the speed down on the rest of the pussy. <laughs> That's um, yeah, self-serving, but I approve of it. Alright, so that's clean enough. Look at this filth. What's this? 
random things that probably should be reattached that probably won't get reattached. So now we've got the situation where we have to fix those hinges. And I've left it for the last thing of the night because obviously once you set them up you just have to walk away. Walk away for 12 hours, come back later. Okay, we do not want the foam pad there. Not replacing the heatsink compound, I will contemplate that. I mean, it's a valid concern, I agree. I guess I'll go check it out. <laughs> Reading Bastard Operator from Hell again. I haven't read that in a while. I did used to watch, read it all the time on the register. Gave some good ideas, that chap. I need to get one of those small battery powered but good vacuum cleaners for two reasons. One is so that I can vacuum out this stuff as I'm brushing it. The other is so that I can use it as a sort of a cheap easy fume extractor. Particularly if you get the ones that have got the HEPA filters in them. Right. Yeah, I have a feeling, Spencer, that uh, Bastard Operator from Hell these days is probably getting a little bit recycled. Although, no doubt, um, you know, a good story can be retold a few thousand times. Yeah, Mike, I probably will still uh, do the heat sink compound. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, that, that's probably a good thing. Uh, this is what you, what Jessa would call debriding the wounds. Although she didn't say debride, she said debride, debris, or something like that. So I'm debriding them, because that's the way it sounded to me. Because this is my forte. Which apparently is wrong too. I suppose it's my fault. Dyson version 9, made by bloody aliens. I cannot find what is magnetic. Maybe it's not magnetic, maybe it's induction. Oh, I don't know. But they're all brushless motors in there, aren't they? So it's probably just a two coil system. Although, why would they bother? I don't know. Especially given that neo magnets are perfectly good. Da, da, da. I take it AVE has pulled one apart. Would I be correct in that? Because the only thing I've seen on AVE's videos, he did one on the Dyson hair dryer or something like that. I found that rather comical. Magneto reluctance apparently. Yeah, okay. Anti grab motor. That sounds far more interesting. Yeah. Anti grab motor gets you venture capital. Magnets get you lunatics. People like free energy man it's like totally free and it's, uh, the corporations are just hiding it man so they don't want you to know the truth so we've got free energy you idiots it's called solar panels <laughs> yeah but that's like it's like not tapping into the zero point energy man it's not, it's not what zero point energy is you dorks it's like go read your quantum theory I really shouldn't get started on those people who have spent too many hours of my life trying to talk sense into people that you cannot talk sense into. I think that those people who believe in such things so emphatically 
are the true petrol motion creatures because they never end they just keep going and going and going and going so we need to find a way of tap the energy out of those suckers alright oh hello Amy we were just wondering where you were about 10 minutes ago multi-dimensional magnets well we already do don't we we have three dimensional magnets and then if you watch them over a very long time they become fourth dimensional magnets uh, over unity is great to watch but pure bullshit <laughs> unless of course it's a reverse cycle air conditioner producing heat that's over unity if you make the system closed enough and ignore the outside <laughs> all right so they're scrubbed up uh, with alcohol and now it's time for me to get my little scales that only measure in grains and measure out some JB world yeah I've got to find my JB world now I'll be back in a bit Hey Brandon, good to see you. You can't ignore the outside. And now commercials. Now, I should probably remember to do that, but no one's going to watch those. I mean, really. Who doesn't use ad blocker? This is my, this is my fancy little scale that is stuck on grains. Oh well. Spencer, was it? No, it wasn't you that sent me this, but I picked this up basically when I was starting to do model aircraft stuff. So it's certainly in your era. Hmm. And what else do I need? I'm going to need a lot of JV world here. So I need to find an appropriate container. Something to really just splooge it all into. Hmm. I need All right. Ah. I need an iPhone looks like an iPhone six container. Action mm -hmm. Nope, that's holding you up. Nope, that's not gonna do any good, I have to get another one. Didn't know you were a drug dealer. Oh yeah, man. I totally am. I'm waiting for the FBI to kick on my door. Which would be interesting because we're in Australia.
uh, Spencer the 0.01 gram scale I, this isn't the 0.01 version this is the just the 0.1 but I did have the 0.01 I don't know where it's I think it died something happened to it just general scum and whatnot but uh, I, I seem to recall it was either you or someone else and they ended up sending me one because they were sick of seeing me measure things and not quite get it right come on to, thank you. Right. Yeah, another pair of gloves. Hey, Rave, TKO, credit card to draw some. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Uh, Amy is the pothead here. Oh, okay. Uh, personally, you know, I mean, I don't mind people doing whatever they do with that stuff. As long as I don't go driving or, you know, doing things of importance afterwards. Well, that is one of the things I will agree about what Lewis is saying is that, um, you know, usually the pretty sedate people after they've had their dose of the green joy. Alcohol, on the other hand see a lot of that sort of problem around here and uh, yeah, a lot of damage caused by it. Anyway, so I think in this town right now um, ice is a bigger problem. Meth, whatever you want to call it. Oops, maybe too many people been watching Breaking Bad. Did I get enough sleep this time, Rave? Um, yeah, not really. Okay, so we're on 32 grains right now, so obviously we want to get to 64 grains. Oh, what's going on? I've got a blockage in my... I'm trying to squeeze real hard and it's just... It's like... I'm half waiting for the great explosive splurt out and go all over the place. I think it was a guy called K in RC. The first letter K does seem to resonate with my memory. And again, who can trust memory? Uh, Bet there's a lot of pot in Australia. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm, my nose tells me that it's certainly in use a fair bit around here. I guess the case of, you know, what would you rather? Okay, something not quite right with the hard, uh, the black JB World portion there. It was a little bit thicker than it should be, a little bit drier. So it's got me a little bit concerned. Hopefully it'll still set. It might just simply be one of the solvents evaporating off, which is strange because it's sealed in those bags. Uh, any other Australians out there, uh, maybe if you watch motorsports or something, have any of you guys seen the little um, Aussie RC, uh, Aussie racing cars? They use a motorcycle engine in them, and they're just sort of like two-thirds scale of larger cars like Camaros or Mustangs and things like that. It's just pretty amusing watching them. I find them more interesting than watching the boring old V8s. Fine. Have you smoked it, Paul? Nope. Or at least not directly. <laughs> but I have had... Uh, I've been to parties where uh, there's been quite a lot floating around. That's for sure. 
I mean, I don't even drink alcohol. Well, that's more of a, for me, it's more of a health thing these days. I think I gave my liver absolute hell when I was over in South Africa. When I came back here, it was, alright, time to behave. Not to mention it's expensive. <laughs> Got to be some weird ass indigenous plant to get messed up. <laughs> uh, say no to booze. Missing out? Well, maybe. But I mean, I enjoy. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything on life myself at this point. So, like I said, each to their own. Yeah, I get it. Some people enjoy it. I'm not going to run around and judge. I think they're probably. I'm pretty sure the government's keen on de uh, criminalizing it here. I think as the income from tobacco tax drops off, they're going to be pretty desperately wanting something to take its place. They say secondhand smoke is just as bad. Well, certainly for tobacco smoke, yes, absolutely. Uh, I experienced that when I was growing up. And subsequently, ever since sort of I got older, I found I very quickly develop unpleasant symptoms when I smell smoke. Okay, I was an idiot, too busy talking, and I did not set down this hinge properly. Damn it. As in, I didn't make it parallel. Okay, I'll sort that out. You need to come down a bit more. This is going to be far from perfect, I can tell you that right now. I mean, I don't have anything to guide me here. As it is, this... Holy crap. Oh man, that's what's causing me funnies. to wedge something up back behind it. Oh, what the hell am I going to use? I have a horrible feeling about this one. Put it up against the soft edge. Push it up against the shelf edge. Unfortunately, the, oh, actually, no, maybe the shelf is just high enough. Just hang on. No, there you go. It's just not. So I'll put it on something to raise it up. Except now I need something. Ah, uh, I'll just lift it out. I mean, this stuff, this stuff takes about three hours before, well, an hour at least before it sets up anyway.
I am going to pour JV World into there to fill it out. Crap, it's not gonna hold. Okay, you guys can't see this, but I'm gonna be reaching with my foot over to the other side of that bench. Ah, oh, crap, it moved anyway. Oh, jeez, this is worse than a bad horror movie. Yes. And it's still moved. Worse than a bad horror movie. Okay, now try and adjust these hinges up a bit more. problem certainly not uh, limited to HP's I can tell you that much Shiva certainly well pretty much all brains in my opinion okay I can't see what's going on here properly hmm. oh no that's right yep well thank goodness this stuff is an instant this will be screwed now So I've got a problem here where, unfortunately because the fact that the JV world does is liquid and runs down, in spite of the fact that it does have quite a decent amount of uh, thrixtropic uh, component in it, it still does run, obviously. So I may end up having to do a double uh, a double job here. The first job is just to get the base set and then I'll pour over a second batch tomorrow morning to get the second, yeah, to give it a bit more of a reinforcement. Good luck to that. Mm. Need another battery on top, like here. Um, the, the trouble with being on top is there's not really enough... There's no um, even platform to sit on. I think that should do. I mean, given the torture this bloody thing went through to get to this state, I think we'll probably be happy with what we got here. Uh, let's see, I missed it. Are you using regular JV World or the plastic type? This is regular original JV World. It's, I have tried the other types and I find that the regular is the best. It takes a bit longer and it's a bit messier but it is the best for this sort of work I find and certainly regular epoxy is complete and utter crap who is Nick and why is he touching PSU uh, let's see. oh speaking of which anyone tried one of those uh, sorry about the power supply thing anyone tried one of those um, MagSafe to MagSafe 2 adapters because I want to get a MagSafe I need to get a MagSafe 2 power brick but the original ones are about $120 here in Australia or I can get myself a MagSafe 1 to MagSafe 2 adapter 
which obviously hangs off the end of the MagSafe one. And they're only about $30, even the original Apple ones by the looks of it. But I'm not sure just how good they are. This is only for testing stuff. I've got a MacBook Pro Retina that's soaking in wine, which I need to fix at some time. And the only reason I haven't got to it is because it needs a MagSafe 2, and I don't have one. What are you, what about, oh, roughly what are you charging for this hinge repair? I just found the farm in UK. Well, it's more than just the hinge repair in this case. I also have to sort out their power flex and they've got software issues. It's, it's kind of like bringing a whole wreck into the, into the house and cleaning it up. Often in the past, to try and discourage people, I usually quote hinge repair at about 150 Australian dollars, and it has the desired effect in most cases. I just need to get the JV world off this here. I touched it with the. It comes off perfectly fine with isopropylene. That's right, Chris. Isopropylene. Damn you and your goddamn acetone. I knew I shouldn't have... Yeah, I told you in the other streams that I don't like using acetone. And I thought, yeah, stop being a stop being a sissy. Use acetone, try it. And then I do, and then you tell me, oh, don't use acetone. <laughs> you bloody well trolled me good and proper. Did you have to scrape off the metalized coating before putting on the JV? Uh, to be honest, I never do. On the inside of the where the, uh, the blind nuts were, it's all scrap, scratched out anyway. It's just black plastic. And I washed it out with some isopropylene and toothbrush. <laughs> I use MagSafe 1 to 2 daily. I know Okay, okay, great. Alright, good. So I'll get one of those. Saves me having to buy another brick. <laughs> Chris Long, don't blame it on me. Yeah, well, I was watching you on TV and TV said that it was cool, man. And I wanted to be cool. And I had it here, so I thought I'd try it. Man. I should get one of them and show you what happened to it. Yeah, though you probably know. Is that a battery upgrade going on in there? How will it fit? Uh, wait. Oh, right. Yeah, I see what you're just saying, Chris. Sorry. I'm a little bit slow. Yes. Um, you just stick them on the underside, under here, and you use duct tape. Alright. Okay, so this, I'll just close it out of the way. Do you need one of those DVD adapter trays? I actually have one of those, Chris. I bought two of them for the 12 and a half mil and for the, um, what do you call it? Nine and a half mil. <laughs> but if you're referring to the battery thing, then no. <laughs> All right, one of these, let's see, let's find the Chris Long damaged version. Oh, there we go. There. This fortunately was a donor board, but uh, let's see. Don't do acetone, folks. This is what acetone does to your iPhone chassis. You see that distortion there? Yeah. That was fun. Oh well. By the way, I'm looking for a green iPhone 5C. I've got all the other colors, but I need a green. Yeah, just a couple in there. Oh, this one's an interesting one. This, uh, let's see if that's going to show up. Something happened with this one. I think the screen popped out slightly. So the person bonded it down with about half a tube of super glue and all through here was just totally encrusted in super glue and I've been picking away at it over the months 
I can now attach a screen and uh, whatever onto that as a testing phone. But it's not going to be much good for anything else. But everything is. I can't get the camera out because that is uh, just all the super glue is plasticized now. Height adjustable laptop for more economical typing when table's not adjustable yet. <laughs> Just add more 12 volt 7 amp hour packs. <laughs> Modular. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Let us an upgradable. Mm -hmm. It's like the TARDIS, bigger on the inside. <laughs> uh, da -da. Do I have those speed holes. Mm. Uh, yeah, super glue was not a good fix for this one, that particular phone. It's, I had to get the data off that eventually, so uh, fortunately I did. And then the people were nice enough, they said, well, it's screwed, so you can have it. Green, who would be stupid enough to wonder the green one? Wait, I think I'm not... <laughs> well, it's just that I've got every other colour, and I thought, well, uh, I've complete my collection. So you put this battery in there. So I've got there's iPhone 5C. And I've what have we got there? Seven iPhone 5Cs, all of them in some sort of horrible state of disrepair at this point. <laughs> well, I think that's pretty much bringing us to the end of the evening. What is it? 2.30. It would be an early one for me for a change. I will say I suffered horribly this morning. Uh, my alarm goes off at 8.30 in the morning, and it was definitely not honoured this morning. I didn't end up getting up till about uh, it was 11.30. Oh, sorry, no, 10 to 11. Because I had just enough time to get dressed before the first customers arrived. Well, it wasn't pretty. I mean, it's not pretty on the best of days, but this morning was particularly not pretty. Um, okay, well, in the morning I will check on this, and most likely I will mix up another batch of JB Weld, and I'm going to pour it over the top of the bracket, and over here as well. Obviously it'll never be removable, but we really don't care at this point. I mean, yeah, if another tech gets to look at this, they'll understand why it's flooded in JB World. I mean, goodness knows I would. Uh, let's see, anything else coming up in chat? Dun, 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 perfect iPhone 5C cluster computer. Yes, <laughs> it can go with my iPhone 4 and 4S collection as well. I've got so many of those, it's ridiculous. Uh, one thing, I, I don't have many 5S's for some reason. I've got quite a few sixes that need repairing. They're either in boot loops or uh, yeah, just weird issues. Fives I've got a couple of. Five C's quite a few of. I now have one six S. I need to get a couple more of those. Empty chair, goodness for Eli. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll see. I'll run the stream for a couple of seconds after that, just so Eli can see it. Anyway, that's the end. Thank you very much for participating again this evening. I appreciate you all putting up with my weak jokes and my continuous attempts to deal with laptops that simply don't want to be opened or repaired. Uh, I am going to upload a USB stick data recovery just now, which I did before this. I finished editing it. It fortunately was a successful repair, and you'll see why when you if you watch it. But, uh, so yeah, if you still got nothing else to do for the rest of the day, then in about 20 minutes that video should be up for you all. So, until next time, I'll catch us later. Oh, you can have the empty chair. I need my mouse. That's for you, Eli.